Hello, my name is Margo, and welcome to my slightly belated college decision reactions video. I graduated in the class of 2023, and I applied to 12 schools, mostly liberal arts colleges. The only school where I applied to a specific major was Emerson as a theater design and technology major. At other schools, I indicated history and theater as my academic interests. My reactions do vary a bit in dramaticness, but I was truly invested in all of the schools that I applied to, so please don't make assumptions about which I was most excited about based on that. Alright, let's get started. Here is a little bit about my academic profile. Sad as a If you get the third, you can like go regular. Did you get the chain? Yes! This is so awesome. All of us are not the one. Loading up my Lewis and Clark portal. I got in. <laughs> Time to open Colorado College. Okay, I got deferred. Deferred. All right. Historically, we offer admission to 30% of people who opt into our deferral program. That's actually a pretty good acceptance rate for deferral. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one's congratulations. Mission to Reed College in Portland, Oregon. Oh, there's a handwritten. What does it say? There's a handwritten note saying um, what they liked about my essay. What did they like about your essay? They just thought it was cool. <laughs> I've been waiting all day for this. It's finally a status update on the McAllister portal. I got in. Many months later. So Carlson first. All I know is that Tessa is Waitlisted. Wait yeah. That's what you expected. Yeah. Okay. Time to open Mount Holyoke. Yay! <laughs> No, because you're dissipating the amount of gas you use. You're 
All right. anyways <laughs> unfortunately due to privacy as these are all very small schools i will not be sharing where i'll be attending in the fall but do know that it was a very difficult decision and i was super fortunate to have so many great options my words of wisdom to future classes would be to only apply to schools that you truly see yourself at safeties included and save yourself a lot of work by narrowing down your list as much as possible I would also recommend avoiding idolizing a dream school at all costs, which just saves yourself the anxiety of being caught up on one school. A useful tool for me was narrowing down my favorites into a top five and then not allowing myself to compare the, them any further than that. If you have any other questions about liberal arts colleges or my journey through this process, I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching and good luck to anyone serving their college applications.